I don't understand how, you know, um, Randall doesn't get consideration for MVP. Not saying he's going to win it, yeah. but he don't get no consideration at all. Las Vegas had us winning 22 games this year. We already got 31. Yeah. So how you look <clears> on that? You look, you know, y'all can hold this L too. And, you know, um, he should be the most improved player as well. And I think Coach Tibbs should be Coach of the Year because nobody had us even getting to this point. I mean, I think that's a good point, though, about the MVP conversation. Yeah. Because if you look, the Knicks right now are 31 and 27. And you look at the Warriors, they're 28 and 29. But there's been conversations, especially in the media, about should Steph Curry be in the consideration Biotics. for MVP, considering how he's playing and holding the team down. And listen, I'm not going to discredit Steph Curry. He dropped over 40 points against Boston last night. But if MVP, if the reason people like Dame and other players have never won MVPs, right. Great the point. bottom tier of the conference or not in the conference at all in terms of the playoff standings, then technically Steph Curry shouldn't even be in the conversation Facts. given where the Warriors are. The Knicks are seated a lot higher so why isn't julius randall in the conversation i i definitely agree with you saying you have a great point uh ash and i think he should be considered you know at least a vote or two for sure my pick is going to go Jokic first and i'm going to go cp3 second i just feel like thank you cp I, I thank you feel like you know oh when, my god sorry i feel like no one's top. giving cp any love sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry no all good all good right, i just right. feel like when you when you get to these guys at the top right it's very hard to distinguish right what, what is going to be the objective factor to say this guy deserves it over yeah. this guy i'm not giving to Harden. Number one, he won it already. And number two, without him, the Nets will still be in, in where they are. You know what I mean? A favorite to win it. I don't think... Listen, he's having a great year. Not to, not to sell him short. He's a beast. Superstar player. But he won it already. Um, uh, 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 Embiid... Could, could be in consideration, missed some time, but I, I think Embiid's having an outstanding year. Yo, Jokic was a second round pick. This guy is not only one of the best big men in the game, one of the best players in the game, he's one of the best point guards in the game. Without him, the Nuggets are nothing. He is their engine. The, bro, the dude puts the ball on a string every night. He is a floor general. And like I said, a second round pick, he deserves it. Chris Paul, like I said, I put him next to LeBron as a team changer. Everywhere he goes now, you see it. He's a one-man team, a team changing, not to sell those guys short. But what I'm saying is wherever he goes, he makes it happen. Look what he did to the Thunder. He now has Phoenix battling for the top spot in the West. You know, this team finished 10th or 11th in the West last year. He now has him at the top. CP3 deserves his flowers for at his age. And what he's still doing, his impact on that team, those are my top two picks. Julius, I would put in the, in the most improved uh, category. Tibbs, definitely coach of the year uh, candidate. No doubt about it, CK. Yeah, I would love to hear the conversation for sure. I, I think, But I think that's where I leave it at. I, I, I And Ashley brings up great points because I know we can say this, but Steph Curry going to be four or five on yeah. a lot of people's ballots when they're doing these voting, maybe even three and two for some people. But I think Julius Randle definitely deserves to be in the conversation. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I'm so glad you said that. I feel like we don't hear it enough. I've been hearing B Joker for sure is definitely yeah. warranted. I'm hearing people, LeBron James, who hasn't played games in what in a few damn weeks, you know, no. hearing all these names. But to the point you just made, the damn Suns are fighting to be the first seed yeah. in the Western Conference right now, CP3, who, bro. Which, which had a great bubble, mind you. And they had a solid season last yeah. year, they fizzled out a little bit towards the end, but then they got they heated back up in the bubble. But you know, Monty Williams is doing such a good job with this team. Uh, you know, Chris Paul, it, it, like you said, a team changer. I mean, Steve Nash, all due respect, had a, 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 tr a tremendous run where he won his mm -hmm. MVPs. But the, the Suns were up, up up where the Suns are right now. And Chris Paul can't even get, get a, a nod. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to me, Gotta I have Chris him. Paul up there for sure. As my, For me, he's my number one option. And Yoke is number two, just because of the standings and what they're doing right now. But yeah, Julius Randle for sure. You know, Knicks fan, be damned. Julius Randle is someone that should be in the conversation. I'm glad that um, we uh, Jeff Van Gunny was uh, speaking up for us uh, yes, last night, talking about the All-NBA conversation mm -hmm. and talking uh, talking him up, because that's true. I feel like that's something else that I think would have gone on. He would have gone the R.J. Barrett treatment, where he probably would not have made the All-NBA uh, conversation when he probably has more stats than some of these people that would be on the sure. third or second team so yeah i definitely would have him in the conversation but mip i think he should be in the top three for that top two in my opinion Great. on that but um I, mvp we'll talk about it but i don't know if i have him up there like that